When I grew up, I wanted to be an astronaut. I remember myself when I was in sixth form, we were talking about jobs um, and the careers that you wanted to follow. And it was basically be a secretary, be a nurse or be a teacher. And they didn't know about any other jobs. I would say that you can be an astronaut, just have to find out the route to get there. So we're in Corby in Northamptonshire. It's an area that's sort of being redeveloped. It has quite a history. We had the steelworks that were here and that caused a lot of unemployment once the steelworks closed down. So we've got areas of big deprivation, but we've also got a lot of regeneration going as well. It's a, a very popular for football and I believe it has the most uh, junior football teams in the entire country. And when I started here, you were to talk to a lot of, particularly the boys, to be fair to say, um, it's about becoming a professional footballer. With the girls, it was about becoming a model or becoming a YouTuber or any of those kinds of sort of aspirational careers. Not very much about um, scientists and those kind of careers. So there was a really real need sort of to raise both the aura and the aspirations of our children. Um, one of the things we've done is we've interviewed ex-pupils who've gone on to go to university or have gone on to do other kinds of jobs. So I think we've got some that are doing medicine, we've got some that are doing, studying criminology, uh, we've got one that's gone on to be a doctor and a lawyer. And then we've also got people who are still working sort of in and around Corby as well. And I think that when you can actually relate to people who've grown up where you are, that helps you to see that there's, there's more outside. And it's really now we're trying to drop careers into everything that we do. So it's embedded rather than it just being a careers week. 